So one very interesting example is if we consider a radioactive nucleus. Now a nucleus can be decayed or not decayed. And if we leave it alone and don't look at it, quantum physics says that after a certain amount of time, it will be in a superposition of both. It will be decayed and not decayed at the same time. So Schrodinger, who was one of the forefathers of quantum physics, decided to illustrate how wacky this idea was with a thought experiment. And his thought experiment is now known as the Schrodinger cat paradox. And in this paradox, he imagined that we had a metal box, a box that we couldn't see into. And in this box, he put a, uh, a poor cat and also a radioactive nucleus. And this radioactive nucleus was connected to a flask of poison in such a way that if the nucleus decayed, the poison would be released, and if it didn't decay, it wouldn't be released. So in other words, if it decayed, the cat would die due to the poison, and if it didn't decay, the cat would be alive. Now, if we don't look inside the box because it's sealed, then quantum physics says that after a certain period of time, the nucleus will be in a superposition of decayed and not decayed. And so the logical consequence of this is that the cat must also be in a superposition of being alive and dead at the same time. Now, we all know that this is nonsense. If we open the box and look inside, we always see the cat alive or dead, never both at the same time. So what's going on? Quantum physics says that if we don't look, it's in a superposition, but our experience is that if we do look, it's in one or the other. So somehow, is observation important? Does it change reality? Well, this is a very controversial area of quantum physics, and there's still a lot of debate and discussion about how to interpret this. But the current feeling is that if the cat interacts with the environment in any way, somehow this collapses the superposition, and the cat will end up in one or other of the two possibilities, so either alive or dead. However, this isn't fundamental. We could imagine a situation where we completely isolate the cat from the environment, and it should at least in principle be possible to achieve a state like this. And there are actually experiments underway at the moment, not with cats, but with larger and larger molecules, I think some of them up to about 100 atoms now or more, where they've managed to put them into superpositions of being in two places at the same time. So they're trying to extend this to larger and larger molecules and hopefully maybe one day get up to biological size samples. There is also a counter theory, which is as yet unproven, that suggests that maybe there might be some underlying physics that means that there is a fundamental limit to how large a superposition can be. So these are known as collapse theories. They're still a very active area of research, and they're the sort of thing that maybe you would be able to find more out about if you were to come to Leeds and study physics.